guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about my hair literally so I get tons and tons of questions every single day about my hair and um, what color it is what hair cut it is what products do I use and um, what styling tools do I use so instead of answering them here and there I'm going to condense it all into one video so that those who want to know can find all the information in this video what my hands doing. I'm going to start off with the hair products that I use and for shampoo I use the Shiseido Sabaki Shining Shampoo with natural Sabaki oil and it looks like this and it comes with a pun punch <laughs> it comes with a pump it's actually quite a large bottle and this is my second bottle now I've been using it for about two or three months and it's up to there so it does last a long long time and this is 550 mils the only downside to this is that you have to buy it online because obviously the, they won't sell it in boots or super drug or anything like that you always have to order it from an Asian beauty or cosmetics website I've noticed a lot of difference in my hair I feel like my hair is stronger like it's not as prone to split ends and damage and it just makes my hair feel super clean and super like lustrous is that, is that what I'm trying to say? Um, but you guys know what I mean like really clean and nice and it smells lovely and it lathers up really nicely and I like how it has a pump because in the shower that just makes it so much easier than having slipping and sliding shampoo bottles so yeah, um, highly recommend this. My conditioner, I absolutely love this and it's the KMS Tame Frizz Conditioner and I've been using this for a good few months again, um, less time than the shampoo because that's my second bottle. This is still my first bottle but I am down to the bottom right now and I like this because it kind of gives, it kind of gives your hair kind of like a film to stop the frizz hitting your hair but it doesn't feel greasy and you can't feel it but you can notice it after you've um, washed and blow dried and styled your hair you will notice that your hair is less frizzy and it feels as if like it has like a film over your hair so yeah I really like this especially in the winter times when it's raining and then the hair gets frizzy um, yeah this is really good and I highly recommend that too I finished washing my hair the first product I apply to my damp hair is the Moroccan oil and I have a little teeny tiny bottle here which is super duper cute and I love this Moroccan oil this product is very popular and I know a lot of people use it and it just goes to show that when a product is good that everyone will use it and it's not like one of those products where it's hyped and it's not that good this is actually really good and worth the hype and I think that everyone should have a Moroccan oil in their um, hair care routine because it just makes the hair feel so soft and um, really easy to work with. Next I go ahead and apply a uh, mousse and this is the John Freder Luxurious Volume Thickening Mousse and I only apply it from about starting from my ear and then through the ends. I never ever apply it on the roots because I feel like applying mousse on my roots kind of actually weighs my hair down and it kind of has a reverse um, effect instead of volumizing it it actually makes it quite flat but this is really good especially when you're doing like waves or like a like a some sort of hairstyle it um, obviously it plumps up your hair and it holds your curls and it holds the hairstyle really well and I use this now and again but not all the time and it's the KMS Free Shape Quick Blow Dry Spray and it's quite a big bottle um, but I do use quite a lot because I have long hair and what this does is you just spray it in when your hair is damp and it takes um, less time to dry your hair and it says um, faster drying and lighting oops, faster drying and light conditioning so not only does it help you dry your hair faster, it also conditions your hair as well. So that's a two-in-one and that's a bonus. And once my hair is all dry and it's all styled, and if I want some extra volume in my hair, 
I'll go in with a back comb or I'll go in with some Charles Worthington texturizing spray and my last video is all about how to achieve hair volume um, in three different kinds of ways so if you want to um, find out how I use this then go check out that video because I actually demonstrate how to use it The hair dryer that I use is the Parlux Ceramic and Ionic Edition 3200 and this was pretty pricey, I think it's about £90 and um, got it on, I think it was look fantastic and yeah it's it's really expensive for um, a hair dryer but it makes such a difference when blow drying my hair. I literally only spend half the amount of time blow drying my hair that I used to do and it's so powerful if you use like a large um, round brush to give yourself a really good blow dry it gives a really nice hairstyle and this is um, the type of hair dryers that the salons use so yeah it's really worth investing in a good hair dryer because a hair dryer is something that you use a lot and yeah it's just it's just good to get a good one and if I ever want to curl my hair or give my hair some waves I use the Babyliss Boutique um, Waver which looks like this and it's just clipless and if you see my hair looking wavy then I've probably been using this. When it comes to my hair straightener I use the GHD Eclipse which is the latest one from the GHD collections. It's got one of these buttons so you actually don't turn it on inside anymore, you turn it on from here and the whole thing lights up um, and it's really good actually, it's a really good straightener and I've been using GHDs ever since I was about 18 and I would never use anything else because I just think that GHDs are the best straighteners out there. Everyone who tells me to try different brands and tries different straighteners, I go ahead and try different straighteners and I just always go back to GHD because they're the best. So now moving on to my hair colour. Um, I do colour my hair myself. I never go to the hairdressers just because it costs me a lot of money because my hair is so long. And every time I go to the hairdressers they always tell me that I need to bleach my hair to get my hair light like this colour. And when I do it at home myself, I do not need to bleach it. So if I can get away with not bleaching my hair, then obviously that's a good thing. Because bleaching my hair is not a good thing. And um, yeah, I don't really want to damage it because it's already quite damaged to begin with. So I use two types of hair dye. And one is a professional hair dye and one is a drugstore hair dye. Um, there's no personal preference really it just depends which one is easy for me to get my hands on and um, the drugstore hair dye is obviously easier so I tend to use that a lot more just because I can pop down to my local booth and pick it up whereas different ones I need to go into um, Shaftesbury Avenue and go to the Sally's there to pick it up so um yeah there's no difference really and I do like both of them. I actually made a video and demonstration on both techniques um, and I'll link those videos down below and if you watch those that will explain everything, that will explain what I use, um, how I do it, what the results are, what my hair looked before I hair dyed and yeah so the professional hair dye that I use is the Goldwell one and I think it's 9NA I haven't used that hair dye in a long time so I'm not too sure or I'm not too certain on it but I'll put the link down there um, so you can check that out anyways and then the drugstore hair dye that I use is the L'Oreal Excellence Light Ash Blonde again I'll put that video down in the description bar so you can have a look at the video and see exactly what I use but the other day I thought I've been using L'Oreal for so long that I'm going to try a different brand and when I was in Booth I picked up a couple of bottles of Nice and Easy and actually used the colour, I think it was 9, 9A, I think it's like a light ash brown or a, light, a dark ash blonde but I put the picture here anyway so that you can see what the packaging looks like and you can see exactly which hair dye it was. So this hair dye is not hair dye, this hair colour is that hair dye that I just showed you 
So yeah, um, I actually like it. It's a little bit darker than what I normally use, but my hair tends to look different in every sort of light. If you follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook or even read my blog, you'll notice that my hair is always different. And I always get questions, have you dyed your hair lately? Um, have you switched up your colour? Um, and the answer is that it's just lighting. Like my hair looks quite dark now because it's quite gloomy and it's raining outside and there's no, not much natural sunlight. But if there was natural sunlight then my hair would look a lot lighter. So it just depends on the um, lighting. So when it comes to my hair cut, I normally go to Taikura, um, it's in Covent Garden and it's on Endell Street and I use the hairdresser Yuki, but she's currently um, left so I don't go there anymore and um, I decided to go with my friend to a local one. If you watch my vlogs then you'll see that I actually got my hair cut last week and I actually vlogged it and yeah, I got my hair cut last week and um, this is the haircut and a lot of people ask me what my haircut is and it's not anything special to be honest it's just long layers and um, face framing long layers and that's it you can probably get this haircut in any hair hairdressers just ask for long layers and what it is basically is just lots of layers and then you have the longest piece at the back and yeah it's just it's just a really common basic hairstyle to be honest and if you go in and ask for long face framing layers i'm pretty sure your hairdresser can do it because it's not it's not a very technical haircut is it to be honest thanks for watching my video guys i hope this answered some of your questions if you have any more questions just leave them down below in the comments box and i'll get back to you asap but hopefully i did cover everything um according according in, I mean in regards to my hair uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye